Hello my fellow gangsters. I just submitted this update to the asset, to the car asset. So now it has a cannon and a rocket added to it. Toye modeled this so that you can actually rotate you can rotate it around this hinge and then you can also rotate this other piece like that and we have this rocket here to shoot so I've got it so that you can start hosting a game and I've changed the camera up a bit and now you can be like pew, 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 shooting that stuff around you've got a health bar and then you also have player 2 here wait don't don't drive off the edge so also you can join the game as a second player and you can see each other kind of sucks with the color stuff <laughs> blocking and everything but I can shoot at you and it's hard to fit these both on the screen at once but it's pretty good like sinking it around the collider is not very big <laughs> Kill them and then just resets. It's kind of weird if they bump into each other. So I I want to still get it so that when I change my color on this screen, it would actually change it on the other players. So I have to figure out how to do that. And there there are some weird things where the second player, when he shoots rockets, it's using the first player's the first player is the host of the game right now so it's using the position of the vehicle in the host to place these rockets so if I move really fast it's kind of shooting the rockets not straight out which I have no idea how to get that working so I, I want to try to figure out how to get that working how to get the colors synchronized across the different games but it's pretty sweet. And then I will also want to make so that these turrets actually animate and shoot back while you're firing the rockets. So I've almost got this figured out. I don't know if I'll be able to make the rockets sync perfectly or not. So I'll just do the best I can and then make that the next tutorial. And I'm going to read some comments that I think are all basically the same question. Hey Aaron, thanks for the great vids. I was interested in using a variation of this to allow players to customize their characters in a game, changing the color of the character's shirt, pants, hair, etc. It would be the sort of situation where the player could go to a home base kind of place and customize, change their characters there, then go back out into the game world to play the game with the selected character and colors. And Mr. Shoot says, asks how to set colors to be saved if you move to another stage using player prefs. And yeah, so that seems to be like a pretty popular question. So if you're doing this on a humanoid character, I don't think it would be any different. As long as you have a material that looks good when you change the color. So as long as you have a color property and you just change the color property and the material looks right, then I don't see why it would be any different if it's on a humanoid character or not. To save the color as a player pref, you can save a float as a player pref, right? So if you can save a float and you can load, you can get float. So you can get a float and you can save a float. And a color is made up of floats, right? You've got the RGB value. These are each floats and then the alpha. So you could save those as floats. And then you could load those floats and go make the color again. So that's how I would go about it. I, after I'm done the multiplayer tutorial, I will figure out how to do a save data tutorial and have it so let you save the color. So yeah, as soon as Unity approves the update, then if you already have the car asset, you could just update it. And if you want to work ahead of me, this tutorial, 
on Unity's website. I'll put a link below. This is what I'm just copying basically to figure out how to do the multiplayer stuff and try to integrate it into this. So if you want to work ahead of me, you should check this out. Peace out my fellow gangsters.